Marson's Domain. Hey everyone, Marson here. And today I want to talk about King K Rule and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate because I feel like I need to clear something up. So I had made my previous video on how I felt about K Rule and my plans and everything and not solo maining K Rule anymore. And I remember in that video I did say I highly doubt I could ever just drop K Rule. And that's why I wanted to make this video because I'm sure you guys have noticed I made that montage called The End Question Mark, which was supposed to be a callback to the first DKC game where he pretends to die and it's like the end question mark and he comes back. So I'm not completely done with K Rule and I don't think I ever will be. Montages are still going to be happening. I still play him on stream and I still plan to play him in general. I wanted to make that video because at that time I was really fed up with K Rule and I knew that switching to Bowser would just be an easier time in terms of just winning a match. Not saying that you switching to a character automatically means you're gonna win, but I played Bowser in Smash 4, I have a decent grasp of Bowser, and I know what I can get away with when someone's on my shield or certain situations in general that K. Rule can't handle. So it is easier in certain situations for me to just use Bowser. But with that being said, I don't really do tournaments or anything. I do quick play on stream, and I like having hype matches and just going for clutch wins and stuff like that. And that's where Bowser is just the character that I'm going to play when I don't feel like dealing with K. Rule's shortcomings. But playing as just Bowser, I'm not going to do that because it's not as fun for me as it is to play K. Rule. But playing K. Rule some days is just too much because when people know how to really fight K. Rule, depending on the matchup, it's very difficult and it feels near impossible. And sometimes I want to actually play the game and not be stuck in basically a cutscene, so sometimes I want to switch. But I still have the most fun playing as K. Rule, and I still plan on going in on that ARMS character. And I guess I just really wanted to make it clear that I'm just gonna do whatever I feel is right for whatever time it is. So if I feel like playing K. Rule on stream, I'm gonna play K. Rule. If I don't feel like dealing with K. Rule or I have a bunch of bad matches, I'll switch to Bowser. And in terms of excitement for something new, I'm super excited for the ARMS character and I'm excited to dive into that character like I did with K. Rule. But even with doing that, I'm still gonna throw K. Rule in the mix. I just felt like I needed to make some sort of follow-up because people who come to my streams have already gotten used to the fact that I've been throwing K. Rule in still. I think there was some streams where I only played as K. Rule. So I don't plan on ever stopping with playing Smash and figuring stuff out if I can whenever that happens or making montages. I don't really plan on stopping. My thing is, is that I like to be involved with Smash but I also like to do different things with Smash. I don't always want to play it. Some people can play it non-stop, and that's great. But with the way K. Rule is, and with my passion for other games, I don't have a drive to only play Smash, and I never set out to be a Smash tuber. So for me, I'm going to keep throwing Smash into the mix, but it's not my only game, and I'm not going to only play K. Rule if I don't feel like playing K. Rule. And I think me removing the title of being a solo main K. Rule player has really helped me because I felt a need or I guess a want to be known as a solo main K. Rule player. But being able to remove that from myself and be able to just play the game and just do whatever has felt great. And I think in a way I wanted to encourage people that go to tournaments and stuff that keep losing to consider playing another character because you can still find another character that's not as bad as K. Rule that you could be passionate about. I think one that a lot of people gravitate towards is Banjo. I think Banjo's one that a lot of people who like K. Rule like Banjo as a character as well. Maybe the play style of the character doesn't fit, but the character himself and what he represents in terms of video games, I think a lot of people who play K. Rule gravitate towards Banjo. And I think Banjo is very good, and I think it's going to be just a matter of time before we start seeing Banjos in tournaments. I think it's just going to take the right player. I'm not really a big fan of dismissing a character right off the bat, because if you look at Smash 4, 
Nobody was looking at Duck Hunt Dog until way into that game's lifespan. And it's only because of certain players, Raido being pretty much the main one, and even Villager in Smash 4. It was only Renai, for the most part. So with Ultimate, Banjo hasn't even been out the whole time Ultimate's been out. So I don't think people should be discouraged by what people just right off the bat say about a character. And in general, I guess I just want to advocate that you should just play who you want to play. If you want a solo main K rule, do it. But if you're losing and a part of you just doesn't want to lose the title of solo main K rule, I think you should really consider what that title means to you and if maybe it's just that a part of it is that you just feel more comfortable with playing Cave Rule and you don't really want to dive into someone else. Because it's going to take time. If you've been solo maining K Rule since Ultimate came out, it's going to take time to get to that same point with another character. So in general, I just wanted to make this as an update. I still play K Rule, but I don't care to have that title of solo main K Rule anymore. And I think being able to accept that has helped me with the game, honestly, because playing as Bowser has allowed me to see a lot of situations that Bowser can get out of that K. Rule can't. And I always felt that Bowser was basically just a better K. Rule in terms of a lot of the situations that K. Rule gets into. But there's been moments where I've been able to SDI out of stuff that K. Rule can't, and there's just a plethora of things where I've gotten into a situation and been like, yep, K. Rule can't do anything about that. Yep, K. Rule would have lost there. So I think to have that knowledge is useful. And even within our own community, we've had some K. Rule mains switching to other characters and they've been enjoying it. And I think one way to look at all of this is that if you've been playing K. Rule since launch and you're really good with him, picking up another character can allow you to have the most wild card switch of a character during a tournament set pretty much ever. Because if you go a different character, say you got really good with Snake or something, and you lose game one, you lose game two, it's a best of five, and you go, you know what, I'm going to lose anyway, let me go K roll. This is where tier lists and stuff don't matter, because you're at a tournament, your new character isn't working, and because we're all humans, just because we know K. Rule isn't that good, that doesn't mean that the person you're fighting has K. Rule experience to the level that you're at. Because I would say that most people have some K. Rule experience, whether it's from Quick Play or whatever, but if it's not from someone that really knows K. Rule, they're probably gonna get stomped. You have to get used to K. Rule stuff, especially if you're really good with him. I can even notice it when I do a ditto. If I do a K. Rule ditto, I can tell who's fought dittos and who hasn't. Because there's certain situations where K. Rule will just win, and if the opponent's not used to it, they're just gonna lose. So if you have that wild card pick, you could still win. It's no different than when we've seen Sam Sora lose to a random heavy. He struggles against heavies. That's just where we're all humans. We're not gonna be optimal at every single thing we do. We're gonna have weak points, and that's where having a character like K. Rule be that up to par, skill-wise, can help you. So I would never look at it as a waste of time or something that you can't go back to. He's always gonna be there. So if you go to tournaments regularly and you're losing and you know that if you switched, you could have a better time trying to figure out the match or win the match, and like I said, it does not mean instant win, but that's where matchups and tier lists do matter because you need to know the matchup spread on when to switch characters. The thing with tier lists is that it should just never be a definite thing of, oh yeah, this is just terrible. I should just not do this, this, and this because this player said that. That's where I think you should try to look at it more for yourself and see what you're good with and what you're bad with in terms of matchups, character spread. You can use tier lists to give you a general idea, but my main point is that tier lists don't equal instant win. You can lose against anyone. I still lose against Little Max. I've lost to Ganons. People can call me a noob for it. I really don't care because it's the fact that we're humans and you can lose to anyone. If a Ganon guesses correctly three times, your stock's gone. So you can lose against anyone. It really doesn't matter. So 
Hopefully me expressing my thoughts and opinions on my experiences with the game and K. Rule and just all this in general, hopefully it helps you because maybe you're in a spot where you feel like you should switch or something and you're like, you know what, let me give it a shot. And who knows, maybe you'll have even more fun doing so. And for those that want to just stay as K. Rule, I'm still going to have the montages. You're still going to hopefully get motivated by those. I'm not saying that you have to drop K. Rule or anything. I'm just simply throwing the idea out there because for me personally, not solo maining K. Rule anymore feels great because I feel like I'm more free, I guess, when I play the game. Even though I've been playing K. Rule mainly the past couple of days, I still feel more free because I know I can go, eh, I'll just play Bowser right now. I feel like playing Bowser. Or I go, eh, maybe I'll mess around with Ice Climbers and get mad <laughs> like I always do because I'll lose a stock to where Nana was just nowhere near ledge. And you never know what character might fit your playstyle that could surprise you. So that's all I really have to say about this. Hopefully these videos help or you enjoy them in general. But either way, let me know what you think about all this in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this and want to support my content, feel free to subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you all later. Take care, everyone.